The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station or newspaper. Stephanie Abrams, Mike Bettis, Abrams and Bettis, weeknights at 8 Eastern. Now, your local on the 8s. Weather provides some of her own fireworks in these days leading up to the 4th of July. Coming up, when storms could strike the Twin Cities and how a weather change could renew the flood threat for Texas. We are so glad you joined us for Day Planner. I'm Dave Schwartz. Christina has the day off. And I'm Kevin Robinson. And, of course, we're starting with our big weather story, the one we've been dealing with since, I guess, last weekend. Not mm -hmm. this past weekend, but the weekend before last. Right. The flooding. Many communities remain surrounded by water in southeast Kansas, and high water worries are renewed in North Texas. It's a result of flooding rain, just persistent rain. We're in a pattern. Now it's moved into Texas. Our rivers are cr crested or just become wider Record just over a unbelievable water remains parked over Osawatomie Kansas just for example 40 percent of the town had to be evacuated yesterday as two waterways poured flood waters into the town two rivers overflowed their banks and flooded the entire town. The National Guard had to help with, of course, the evacuations. Yeah, we had levees being breached and topped all across southeast Kansas this weekend. Just an incredible situation there. Of course, you've heard a lot about Fredonia, Kansas. 21 inches of rain wow. between Thursday and Saturday. Wow. Just try to imagine what that can do. Well, we're concerned about more rain today in parts of Texas. This time, it's around Houston and Victoria. We're actually seeing some heavy rain. Thunderstorms will light up the skies again today all across the Gulf Coast states, not only in Texas, but as far east as Georgia and the Carolinas. Beautiful weather, though. The Great Lakes, the Ohio River Valley, but watch out. Storms, a few of which could be severe from Minnesota right on into eastern sections of Montana. Dave, what's going on in the southeast? There's plenty of heat and humidity here. That's right. We had flooded. This is not Kansas or Oklahoma. This is Florida. Miami Beach, tropical downpours yesterday. They contributed to a three-car collision, and lightning brought us some power outages. And you know what? These thunderstorms are going to be back. And I'll tell you, that one hit right over the Art Deco district. I mean, ugh, thousands of people around, people in bars watching the Weather Channel. And um, this thunderstorm just set right, right over us. Well, this morning, it's quiet. Now's the time to get all those errands done. 
here in Florida. Got a doctor's appointment? Good. You scheduled it in the morning. In the afternoon, thunderstorms. Look what's happening in Texas, though. The same storm system, if you will, that produced the heavy rain in Kansas and Oklahoma. Wow! Look at all this rain. Eight inches of rain down here in Victoria County, where roads are out. Many roads are out. And in Houston, it just continues to come down soggy right through lunch hour. Then this rain should taper off here in the afternoon is my a general idea of what's going on here. High pressure to the north has cooled things down and dried things out in the Carolinas, but south of that front, it is tropical. Temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s, except where it's raining. 77 in Dallas right now, 74 in Houston, and more thunderstorms are due in most places that saw them yesterday. Temperatures warm, very humid thunderstorms, the result. Kevin? Well, water's overtaking part of this southeast Kansas town. This is a Sawatomie, Kansas here, where residents had to leave their homes on Sunday. Two rivers flowing into the town have topped their banks. Numerous levees have burst or broken, should I say, because of the flood water simply topping them. Boy, it's a terrible situation there. Thankfully, there's no heavy rain in Kansas this morning. Beautiful weather across the Great Lakes down into the Ohio River Valley, but we're concerned about severe storms in the High Plains. You can see the blow up here on the satellite image, but as those storms head east, they're running into a more stable environment around the Great Lakes. So those storms across Minnesota this morning are actually weakening as they push towards the Twin Cities. There's some rain around Duluth and that rain will head over towards Rhineland or Wisconsin and talk about beautiful weather. Boy, this is the type of weather where you let the windows up at night. 53 in Chicago is where you started, 40 in Alpena. That's actually a little bit on the chilly side. Even with full sunshine today, a lot of these places around the lakes from Chicago to Cleveland to Detroit will struggle to make it into the, well, let's say mid to upper 70s today. So enjoy some of that weather outdoors. But watch out for the storms again from Minneapolis to Rapid City. Dave, what's going on in the Atlantic, they shared in this beautiful weather. Oh, look at this picture here. This is Washington, D.C. this morning. And there's the Washington Monument. We do have a little bit of haze around. But otherwise, it is dry. 72 at Reagan National. Relative humidity, 36% with a northeast wind, 10 to 15 miles an hour. It is beautiful. Now, boy, if you picked out the nation's capital to spend July 4th week, and how appropriate is that? you found some fantastic weather. Baltimore up at 71 degrees, Gaithersburg 69, and the temperature today will hold in the 70s here in the nation's capital. Maybe we'll hit the 80 degree mark and look at all this sunshine. That is nice. <laughs> Pittsburgh, how about Philadelphia, the nation's first capital? We're looking for a beautiful day here today too. Kevin? What's next? Well, where there's smoke ahead, what's heating up an already deadly firefight in Utah, plus why red flags mean you should stay out of the ocean. From Georgia to Maryland, and clinging to signs for safety as waters rise, why a change in the weather could mean high water rescues in Texas.